Hi guys, Mark Crossword here. More iron testing coming at you today. We've got Mizuno MP54 hitting up against the Nike VR Pro Combo. Uh, let's give these two kind of bladed stroke, slightly cavity back irons here, see which one comes out on tops. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, Mizuno MP54, forged head, milled pocket cavity, hitting up against VR Pro combos again, forged head design, blady appearance, getting into a more cavity back dine as you go into the longer. So both of these clubs uh, feature progression, don't they? Um, 54, this pocket cavity kind of disappears as you get into the lower iron, so you get the cavity in the longer irons. This six iron has one. The six iron in the VR Pro combo here has no milled out kind of pocket cavity, does as you go up into the longer irons. Both of these clubs are kind of classic looking, putting them down by the ball, very blady in appearance. The VR Pro combo is actually thinner on the top line, so if you're digging the thin top lines, VR Pro Combo might be the one for you, um, but they're still trying to offer some kind of user-friendliness in that forged feel. So we're going to give them a hit. We've got GC2 HMT on the floor here on. It's going to present some real ball numbers in the middle part of this video, so stay tuned and actually see how they perform. Launch, distance with real ball spin, those kind of things. Let's talk a little bit more about how they look and feel. So we're going to start with the 54 from Mizuno. I know this is going to be a popular club in the forged kind of market for people who want that forged look with a little bit of feel. Putting it down by the ball, a little bit of offset next to none. Very classic top lines. And that unmistakable Mizuno feel off the face. You know, what people call soft, which is coming through the sound. Uh, what people tend to like. It definitely offers all that kind of forging loveliness that you get in this kind of iron. You've got the lovely chrome finish as well, looking really, really classic, really true to lots of Mizuno's uh, roots. But still, with that milled out kind of pocket cavity at the back to help with a little bit of launch and allow with a little bit of kind of off-center hitting as well. Um, let's just give it a hit one more time. You've got to remember you've got grain flow forging if you buy into Mizuno which is their process of helping them make the kind of feel of their clubs, they're saying. Let's give it one more hit. Feels nice, I caught that slightly off the bottom and that still flew okay. So 54, definitely classic looks, definitely lovely shapes, lovely um, feel off the face. You will get a bit of help with that pocket, pocket cavity. So if we compare that up to VR Pro Combo, so not your maybe traditional forged kind of brand in the Nike, you get Smaller looking head, definitely thinner looking top line. I think these would appeal more, even more so, to that really kind of low handicapper who does want that little bit of help but still wants like the most blady sign they can get off their hands on. And there's quite a lot of grooves on this face. So when you put it down by the ball, there's a lot of grooves down there, which I quite like. Next to no offset, similar to 54. So let's hit it, see how it feels in comparison. Again, very similar in launch, which is exactly what I would expect with these two clubs. Very similar in feel and sound. You do get the slightly softer, and that's not the right word, but you know what I mean, sounding out of Mizuno, I would say. But it's very, very marginal, and I'm sure half of that is because I just think it's softer rather than it actually sounds and then feels softer. Uh, let's give the Nike another hit. Definitely looks fantastic down by the ball, the Nike. I could really use this club VR Pro Combo. If I was staying in this kind of bracket of club, it would be close between these two for me. So look, we're going to look at some numbers. I've hit some shots of each using the launch monitor on the floor here, the GC2 HMT. Let's present some of the numbers and show you exactly what is the difference in performance, if any. Um, but looks wise, hard to call it really. Definitely think 54 would look a little bit friendlier to the average golfer. But let's look at these numbers. So if we look at the two data sheets here, I've put MP4, but it's actually the MP54. Unfortunately, I missed off the five on the top sheet, but uh, I've kind of bolted it on over the top. So look, uh, club head speeds, almost one, two mile an hour within each other. 
Uh, ball speed one mile faster with the MP54. Interesting. And then total carry 171 on average of the three to 167 with the VR Pro combo. So the 54 going fractionally further than the combo. Three yards on this test. Now, biggest difference I'm seeing is slightly lower launch with 54 and then slightly less spin. 5.5 five total in with the Nike to 5.1 with the Mizuno. So that's where that extra distance is coming from. Lower launch, less spin, just going out there a bit more where the VR Pro combo did spin up a little bit more. Has got a few more grooves, the VR Pro combo, which might equate to some of that extra spin. And then obviously you've got strike to work into those two as well. Two clubs going three yards difference. I mean, I, if I did it consistently, I might buy those three yards extra. Um, but you might find we do the test again and it might be three yards the other way around subject to those strikes. Very similar performing clubs from most of those numbers. So as expected guys, very similar numbers from both. I mean these clubs are filling a similar brief. You do get slightly different appearances. They're not as close as some of the other manufacturers in appearance. And I almost feel between these two clubs, because I like them both, that I could kind of one month use the VR Pro Combo and love it and then have a few bad rounds and think, oh, I should be using the 54. It's that even between these two, so hard to call it. I'm going to hit one more with a 54, because everyone who watches these videos knows where my branding heart lies with the between the two companies. But I do love, I think Nike, for a company that is not got heritage in club making, like these guys, and a company that's no more for trainers have produced a fantastic iron here which i could see lots of good players wanting to use if you just get out there and try it and that's the key word isn't it get out there and hit them see which one you like the feel of and the look of definitely uh, vr pro combo comes out in that slightly thinner more classic is into the truer blade than the np uh, 54 but Numbers, I mean, it's down to looks, isn't it? Numbers off the face of those, almost identical. Let me know what you think, guys. Post comments down below. I know Mizuno are probably going to win the battle here, but I'd love to hear your comments. For me, it's very, very close between those two irons. Post comments down below, and we'll speak to you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video. Post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.